Okay, there are a number of ways to connect Profibus to our DAN control. The first way I'm going to show you is with the DB9 connector. The connector itself has two ports on it for Profibus in and out, and it's got the screw connection so you can screw it down to the controller. If this is the last node of the network, you can see like here, there's only one Profibus in connection, and I'm going to flip the termination switch to the on position. The next way is to use the Profibus connection with the M12. This is the B-coded Profibus connector. And you want to connect the T or the Y cable, in this case, the T, directly to the Profibus controller, never any drop length. Once the T is connected, go ahead and connect your Profibus in and out connection to the T. If for some reason this is the last node of the network, you would, of course, not have the Profibus out connection. We replace that with a termination resistor that you can, in this case, connect directly to the T. Now, a little better alternative, just because it puts less stress on the trunk line, you can use a Profibus Y cable. So you, again, attach the Y directly to the controller, and then attach your trunk in and trunk out lines to the pigtails. Now in this case, you cannot just simply attach a termination resistor to the outgoing side if the Profibus out connection is not used. I'm going to show you in a second here what we're going to do in that case if this is the last node of the network. So we'll remove the Y cable altogether and attach this little pigtail which has a termination resistor it's built into the connector. So that metal part always goes to the controller side Screw that down. And then again, attach the trunk in connection to this little pigtail adapter. Okay, the last thing we need to do is set the address. On the four channel one, we set the address with the keypad and arrow keys. So use the arrow keys to select the address that you're going to use. Hit enter to activate it. On the Ident Control Compact, you'll see there's no display. But if you flip it over, you'll find the two rotary switches that we're going to use to set the address. First thing you have to do is take your address in decimal, convert it to hex, and then you can enter it here as a two-digit number high byte on the top, low byte on the bottom in the screen. In this case, address 19 will be converted to 13 hex.